Welcome back to the Homeowner Series. I'm just getting back into town here from going on a Sunday morning drive. I headed a few counties over, met up with a few friends, and went for a quick cruise. Today we will be working on a big project in the backyard. We will be building roughly a 10 by 20 vegetable garden. We will also be planting some tomatoes and lettuce. I really do enjoy having kind of some homegrown food and I think uh, this will be the perfect opportunity to kind of do a little bit of a so-called farming here at the house. Now before we put the GT3 back in the garage, I do kind of want to give it a full wash with the pressure washer and right here seems to be good. We'll just kind of uh, get it washed and then we'll put it in the garage. I'm definitely excited to be back here with the homeowner series. It's been a very popular series so far and I really have been enjoying it. Let's get the GT3 washed here. I always try to go on Sunday morning drives. It's just a fun car. And uh, even though we do have it sit in the garage a lot, when we do drive it, we definitely have a lot of fun with it. I think next week or the week after, we will be renting a Ferrari. I think that that would be a pretty cool thing, very fun thing to do as well. And uh, that would be a pretty cool thing. And maybe we might buy another sports car, but I think for now, uh, we'll just kind of st uh, stay here with the GT3. But possibly I am looking at buying a classic truck. I think that would be a pretty neat thing to do. Maybe do a little bit of restoration there on it. But the GT3 is clean. Uh, let's put it, the uh, pressure washer back here and let's put it in, back in the garage. Perfect, so that seems to be good right about there. Now, I think let's hop here in the F-250, put the ramps down, and we'll actually take the uh, brand new uh, three-wheeler uh, Honda that we have out there to the backyard. I really want to enjoy it. This will be just pretty cool, even for the kids to hop on it and just kind of cruise it around the yard. It's not too fast. It's actually a pretty uh, small, uh, not too much horsepower, so we are good to go there. And... That was the bed cover, so we don't want that. We want the ramps. And perfect, we got the ramps. Awesome. Now, I do actually have a garden in real life, and I really do enjoy it a lot. So I thought this would be the perfect thing uh, for us to add here to the house. It's a little bit of farming, but when we buy the ranch, we might have some uh, kind of old tractors, things like that, which would be pretty neat. Awesome, so we got this uh, backed off there, and let's see if we can make the turn. Perfect. Over the next few weeks, I will be getting a new microphone. More than likely, uh, within the next week, I will be placing the order for it. But here we are, guys, coming back here, right behind the gazebo. Over here, we'll be putting it. Now, I will be putting a small fence around it as well. I think that's uh, definitely a necessary thing. So let's come back here to the 1025R, uh, and we do need to get it ready. We are renting a rototiller attachment uh, to help us out. So let's see if we can get this pulled out of the shed and put the uh, three-wheeler in. Now I do want to disconnect the backhoe arms there, that way uh, we could actually kind of put it to use there and let's pull this out. Now this 1025R has been a pretty popular purchase from many of you guys and it's been working great so far. If you guys are new here, I do ask that you please subscribe. We are growing, growing faster and faster, and we are getting closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers. But there we go, and let's actually have to go to the uh, store now to pick it up, and uh, let's uh, just bring this out to the front. Now another thing that I placed in order for was a drone. So we will be uh, buying a DJI Phantom 2 drone, which is pretty cool. We had it back in the previous Farm Sims, and I thought that would be a neat add-on to add. So I bought it, so we'll pick that up, and we'll also pick up the uh, tiller. Let's put the tailgate up, put the uh, ramp up there, and let's uh, get this uh, turned on. Now I have been thinking about the possibility of selling our GMC Denali, just moving down to one truck and then the uh, Raptor is for the wife and I think that's probably the game plan just to be a little bit more realistic. Maybe instead of having two trucks we might have uh, another sports car uh, since a few of you guys have been requesting. Maybe an R8 would be a pretty cool add-on so let me know uh, but I do uh, want to kind of have a little bit more trucks than uh, sport cars but we also do have that old K30. It's at the uh, 
storage units. We'll probably get that out of storage soon, maybe even uh, next week, but I was thinking we'll wait until we get the uh, ranch. So I think let's first pick up the DJI, I believe it was just over $500 from the technology store here in town. Uh, it's not too bad for the drone because drones have been uh, pretty pricey. Now this drone will be using especially uh, for the uh, land shopping. I really want to buy the perfect land here and I think coming up in the next few weeks I will actually incorporate that into these videos looking for land for the ranch. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Now let me know down below in the comments guys, should we look at land that has a small lake, small river on the back? I think that would be a pretty cool thing. But there we go guys, we got the drone in the back. Uh, it's just a little bit too big to put here and it's all assembled and we don't want it to fall over uh, by putting it on seat. Wow, that looks pretty cool. We will take it for a flight today as well. If you guys do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. And I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day over there. Actually, some sneak peeks and updates about the channel as well. But I am very excited for the new microphone coming. Complete new setup and will definitely increase the realism here. We'll get it picked up here. A bit heavy. Now this was I think $100 for the uh, day. Which isn't too bad. And we should be able to get it strapped down as well. So perfect. We got that loaded up. And let's head back to house. So far, I've really been enjoying the homeowner series here on this new map. Uh, we've been very realistic, trying to do things around the property, and it's uh, coming along really nicely. And next week, we'll be doing some landscape work around uh, kind of the uh, pool area. More than likely, we are going to get decorative stone. Uh, that way, we don't have to worry about mulch going in the pool, and the stone will be perfect just in case the water, uh, let's just say, kind of splashed on it. This F-250 Tremor though is by far probably my favorite uh, truck and farming simulator in uh, total. It's just one awesome looking truck. Really, really do like the look of it, especially in this blue. Let's get it backed on in here. Really do like the driveway as well. It took a little bit of time uh, to get used to it, but definitely a great decision there with the driveway. So this seems to be good, and we'll just put the tailgate down. Now I'm thinking we will do uh, uh, some practice flies with the drone after we get this done. That way uh, we do have some uh, spare time and also I really want to take my time. Uh, that is one expensive drone and we do not want uh, to end up kind of crashing it. That's going to be a lot of money if that happens. But let's get this attached here and let's kind of head on back there. Now this is not really a deer uh, rototiller brand, but that's okay, it's probably a general one, but it's going to do just fine. The 1025R is a perfect tractor to have for about an uh, acre, acre or two of land. Now we just went in that hole there for like the second or third time today. It looks like uh, the excavation company missed a little area, so we'll have to work on that as well, uh, patch that. But let's get this road tiller on, get it turned on, and let's get going here. Oh yeah, look at that, that is pretty neat. And we do want as straight as we can, so let's see if we go forward. I think right about there seems to be good. Now the switch here to the uh, pedals, the steering wheel, and uh, the panel has been awesome. Definitely increased the video quality and uh, just my overall experience in farming simulator. So what I'm thinking is we'll do some of this, but we actually have to uh, place the uh, fence in. So I think placing the fence in after this step would be a little bit easier to tell us exactly how big it will be. A little bit more, we'll get dropped down and we'll get going here. Now when we do buy that ranch here for the homeowner series, we'll probably move up to three videos a week uh, with this series. I think that's going to be a pretty awesome thing, a lot of fun. Now one thing, I do want to do a few extra passes over here, but let's do it this way to see if we could kind of clean it up just a little bit. Yeah, I think one like this and then we'll get going on placing the fence and everything else, including the tomatoes. We'll probably go with just the usual tomatoes that we eat. A little bit more right there seems to be good. So let's get this turned off, get it moved out of the way, and uh, let's hop into the store. And I think we'll first get the uh, fencing placed. 
Here we are with the fencing. Let's see. We definitely have a little bit of work to do here. But it looks like this side there is long enough. And we'll put the fence right about there. So a little bit of touch up. We'll go here to the smaller fence. Oh yeah, this will be the perfect size. And we'll place this here. Now this is always a little tricky, these fences. And let's see. So that seems to be good. And one more here and then we'll put a post. We'll put a post here at the end. And one here and then we'll just have a nice gate. Awesome, so here it is. I think this is a perfect size garden. This will keep out the rabbits, anything that just tries to kind of eat the tomato plants. Up next, let's plant the tomatoes. I think we'll do two rows of tomatoes and then two rows of lettuce. I think that's all we really need. And uh, we'll definitely give a few extras to the neighbors once we kind of harvest them. And here we are with the tomato plants. Oh yeah, we should be able to fit them lengthwise here. So let's see. Oh yeah, this will be perfect. So we'll do uh, maybe, uh, yeah, two rows. And this looks to be, uh, let's see, so 20 total tomato plants there. And for lettuce, this takes up a little bit more space because they're a little bit wider. Now, if you do have any cool feedback, any ideas here for the series, please let me know. I definitely want to do a lot more here. Definitely just improving the house is always the main goal here. And we are making big, big progress. So there we go, guys. Our new garden is in place. I would say uh, between renting that and all this fencing, probably four or $500 total, which isn't too bad. I just bought some white wood here and just kind of put it together myself. Pretty simple fence, and this thing looks awesome. So let's kind of bring the uh, deer out front again, and I think let's go uh, have some fun there with the uh, drone. And if we do have a little bit of time at the end of today, I do want to wash the uh, F-250 trimmer. I just really do enjoy washing, detailing, things like that. Definitely we'll do a few videos coming up within the next few weeks with the uh, Subaru in real life doing a little bit of washing. But let's hop on the uh, truck. Let's bring this to the back of tailgate and let's get into flight with this. Perfect. We'll just kind of bring it here to the end. This is always a little tricky to kind of work with, but there we go, guys. We got a camera on it. This is pretty pricey, but let's get up in the sky. And we are up in the sky here looking through the camera. And we are just at about 300 feet here. Really don't want to go too, too high, but look at the property so far, guys. This thing looks awesome. The garden, even though it looks pretty big, is uh, small up here. The shed, we have the house. But this will be pretty cool for land shopping. We'll be able to go up in the air and just look at the surrounding neighbors. Wow, we can see quite a lot of the town here, uh, which is pretty neat. If you do have any cool ideas here for the drone, please let me know. I think we'll first go right out front and we'll uh, definitely take a quick look. I really do like this camera. We could completely rotate around, but look at that, guys. This is the property from the sky. I mean, this thing does look pretty cool. A little bit of touch-ups there uh, that we have to do with the grass, but wow, this thing just looks awesome. One of the best-looking houses on the street and definitely one of the best-looking front yards. Let's bring the DJI inside and put it on the desk. And actually, I think for now, we'll just kind of leave it right out here. I think right here should be good to go. Uh, just for now, I do want to wash the uh, F-250, put it away, and then I think we'll call it a day. But today was pretty awesome. That garden looks so, uh, so great and definitely uh, making some improvements every single week. So we'll get this turned back on. I do want to actually, I, I do want to actually kind of keep the uh, bed uh, tailgate down so we can wash it, wash the uh, tailgate out and especially the bed in general but we'll leave it right here and let's get it washed grab that and let's go washing now washing these trucks is a lot of work here definitely a lot bigger but let's hop here into the uh, truck we'll just get washing perfect just kind of usual maintenance usual projects around the house so far but definitely a lot more will be coming here with the series I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, getting back from the Sunday morning drive, uh, getting the new drone, and building the garden. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.